I operate on pathologies of the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine. Uh, I do anterior and posterior procedures. Depending upon the complexity of what I'm doing and its location, uh, any element of security that I can add to the case uh, is of tremendous value to me and the patients. And specifically neuromonitoring as what I think is becoming the standard of care for many procedures, it's something that for a lot of procedures I would never operate without. As a surgeon, any element of safety that I can add to the operation, and at the same time anything I can do to relieve my concerns and my stress at the moment of operating uh, is certainly something worthwhile. And uh, NeuroAlert does a wonderful job, uh, not only technically, uh, their data is reliable, but also uh, from a reliability standpoint and working with them. Um, they're wonderful to the patients, the patients like them. They're wonderful to work with uh, the doctors. And, you know, when I'm there and I'm two millimeters from the spinal cord and three millimeters from a spinal nerve and something's bleeding, the last thing I want to worry about is, is there a change in the neurological status of this patient? And so take that off the table as a concern. I focus directly on what needs to be done to the patient, and they handle the rest. The most important thing for me uh, when I'm in the room and concentrating on the surgery is not to have to worry about who I'm relying on and the information that I'm getting. Uh, I have to know that the person in the corner of the room who's performing the neuromonitoring is both, both skillful and trustworthy. And one of the reasons that I like NeuroAlert is because they're both.